Hi, Pastor Charlie here from New Hope Lutheran Church with another edition of Pastor Charlie's Toolbox Time. Now, you may have noticed that in my spare time, I like to tinker around with things and a variety of things. I play around with woodworking and with mechanical things. I do the odd invention and uh, whatever else catches my eye. Now some might say I'm gifted at it. Although there are others that might say that description is a little bit of a stretch. But the thing is, we are all gifted and good at something. Our lesson today from 1 Corinthians, it talks about the gifts people have and making use of them. We are told there that these gifts come to us through the power of the Holy Spirit, which is something we celebrate on Pentecost Sunday. So let me ask you, what are your gifts? Have you thought much about them? Our lesson gives a couple of examples, the gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, which is not always the same thing, the gift of healing, and the gift of miraculous powers, among others. What you may not know is that there are other gifts as well that aren't mentioned here. Things that some people are really good at, and they totally mystify me, and maybe you too. I mean, I can't draw to save my life, for example. But the most important thing about gifts is that they are shared, so that others can benefit from them as well. So, what is your gift or gifts? Do you know? Discovering our gifts is an interesting challenge. And it begins by thinking about the things we are good at or we just like to do. So, if you like to fix things maybe, you could help someone else out who isn't as talented by repairing something for them. Some people, some people, they like to talk on the telephone. Have you ever considered that a gift? How about it being the gift of communication? In these times, plenty of people would love to get a call just so they aren't feeling so lonely. That can be a shared gift. Or maybe, maybe you enjoy driving. You could consider picking up groceries for someone who isn't able to get out and buy their own, or maybe running errands for them, or maybe even with them. My point today is that God has gifted each of us with certain talents, something we are good at. Well, they aren't for us alone. They're meant to be shared. Now, today we celebrate Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit. So today especially, I want to encourage you to look for the Holy Spirit to guide you in making use of your gifts for yourself, but more importantly, for others. And don't be surprised to find that wonderful things come out of that experience. Until the next time.